question. 10 is a detail question, and the question is specifically asking me to find a statement about M. robustus and the octopus garden. Well, skimming through the passage, I notice that the first sentence mentions M. robustus, but not the octopus garden. Second sentence talks about octopus garden, but not M. robustus. And I continue to skim and I notice at the very end we have M. robustus and the garden in a single sentence. So I know this is the sentence that I want to read. Because in a detail question, we're looking for one sentence uh, that matches the information the question is asking me to find. And this, quest uh, this sentence that I'm looking at says that M. robustus adults, hatchlings, and eggs were observed at the garden, but no juveniles were present. So juveniles don't live at the garden, just babies and adults. Having read that, I'm going to go over to my answer choices. Answer choice A says M. robustus leave the garden. So that means if they leave, they're not at the garden upon reaching an intermediary stage of development. Yeah, that's being juvenile, right? Intermediary means in between. So you're being in between an adult and an egg or a hatchling. That's juvenile. And so that is going to be the correct answer. That's this sentence exactly, um, but just in opposite words, right? This is what we call an inverted sentence. So you should be more familiar with these sentences, something we see a lot as an answer choice on um, the SAT, especially on inference questions. We'll see these a lot. So if I was solving this test, I would pick A and move on for time, but uh, let's go through B, C, and D and see why those are incorrect. B says that the M. robustus population at the octopus garden remains stable. So I'm really dot talking about how the population size continues. I'm talking more about what age groups live at the garden. Overall population we're not really talking about. And also changes in temperature I did not see at all. So B is absolutely incorrect. C then says that M. robustus nests in the octopus garden contain fewer but larger eggs than nests at similar ocean depths. So other nests other than the octopus garden, I didn't read about, so we can't compare with them. So C is incorrect. D then goes on to say, I, uh, octopus garden provides an ideal feeding ground for M. robustus hatchlings. Ideal feeding ground means this is the best feeding ground for them, but we don't know. The passage doesn't say that it's the best place for hatchlings to live. It just says that hatchlings also are found or observed here. Whether it's the best place on earth for them, we don't know that. So for that reason, we can absolutely say that A is the correct answer.